We're here at Oliver Lee State Park, New Mexico, near Alamogordo, New Mexico, right on kind of the side of a mountain here, beautiful view, and it is windy. I mean, the wind is blowing, so why am I here? Well, I just want to drive around here and see if there's any new way of camping, RVing, that I haven't been aware of. You know, something may have changed since I've been out of the loop a little bit. So let's cruise around here, the park, and see what we see. But it is, it's winds blowing. It's blowing out of the north probably 20, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, so if you're in a tent, uh, you're hearing it, or anything, really. So let's see. This is uh, Loop A. We'll take a ride on Loop A. This is sites 1 through 27. And we're going to go slow because it's a beautiful view out here. Now, this old boy's got a little travel trailer called the E-Pro. And this one over here's got a, uh, what is that, Airstream? I can't believe he's pulling it with that little old pickup, but I guess he is. And then this guy's got him a Jayco, and he's got his little boy out there chunking rocks at people. Yeah, I can remember doing that. I can remember leveling an RV. I can remember leveling a travel trailer. We're just passing site number four. That'll give you an idea. It starts with number one on the upper right there, the first one where that guy had that E-Pro. This is site number six and another. Well, travel trailers seem to be very popular. That's a Lance. And then we got a Class A. I've never had a Class A motorhome. Never. I've had a Class C, a Class B. I've had just about every kind of travel trailer they make. There are a few open spots, but the little tickets on them, they're probably reserved. You know, some people reserve them and then don't show up. And the reason they don't call or call and cancel is because they charge them a cancellation fee. But isn't this a pretty view? That's one of the things that Oliver Lee has is a pretty view and they also have good internet access. And it's also convenient to Alamogordo shopping about 15 miles, I guess. Approx. Easy drive down Highway 54. These here, uh, these don't have uh, uh, any kind of hookups down here. There's there's a water spigot behind me on the right, but uh, these here, there's no water or electric down here. Beautiful views, a lot of privacy. But uh, as far as uh, amenities, none. If you have the state park pass, uh, this is this is a free site for you. If you get water, it's four dollars a day. Water and electric is eight dollars. Is that right? No, because I I pay four dollars a day with a senior pass for water and electric. So here we go. I didn't see anything unique this site right here if you if you want to dry camp the site right here on the left let me just kind of make a turn through it i'll tell you what number it is because i came down here one time just parked for a while it's site number 19 but it's uh it's a neat little site here you know it is got a little table there again no water no electric sewer or any of that there's a uh, they have showers and uh restrooms available but a good view that sunsets that way the way we just pointed that's west then we come on around here and you got a big nice view of the mountain top here we'll go up this way and then we'll come around the other loop well, let's do let's do well we don't want to do it backwards there's a casita i had a casita they're 17 feet long and i lived in one for over two years full time that was my house isn't that unbelievable that i did that hell i lived in a prius jeez <laughs> you 
Yeah, I'm a little loony. There, that guy's got a fancy truck camper. That guy's got a class A. Here's the restrooms on the left right here. They got water and I mean, showers and stuff. And uh, on and on we go, guys. It's not, uh, it's probably 80% full. But I haven't seen anything unique. We'll go around by the tent area. There's a tent up here on the right, but they're in the area where there's uh, water and electric. <clears throat> Must be rich. Yeah, this tent camper here has uh, all the amenities. But he has got all that crap. Man, I'm telling you, that is not, you know, living on the road, tent camping, for young folks, probably be okay. But for me, no, no, no. No way, Jose. There goes the camp host. I did that many years ago. We're going to go on Loop B, sites 31 through 44. Now, these are tent camping sites, all these pullouts on the left and the right. And, uh, yeah, they're okay, but, boy, they are open to the wind. And, uh, yeah. There's a little vault toilet down here on the left, but it doesn't have It's just a doo-doo. It's a doo-doo pee-pee place. Beautiful views. But you do get some wind here. I haven't seen anything really unique that I, that I would just want to jump out and do. I got the best way. The, the class B RV, I just don't want to fool with it anymore. Get, I got a little long in the tooth. See that tent camper there? Well, they went off and left their stuff. There's stuff on there's a, some kind of charger on that table there. Oh, that's water. Well, trusting souls. I, you know, I've never had anything stolen when I've been camping, knock on wood. Here's some dry camping motor homes. I'm sure they've got solar somewhere. Or maybe they have generators. He's got him a tow vehicle, one of those little old bitty things. A Fiat something. Yeah, you know, it, he's got a beautiful view. That's why he's parked there. He likes that view, I'm sure. And, uh, you know, it, it, RVing is what it is. You know, and camping, you know, it's a way of life that, uh, you know, you get into it and, you know, the time just zips right on by. Next thing you know, you've been doing it for 28 years. <coughs> and then you got old. We're going to go back around here. And I'll show you also some of the BLM land near here. There's a BLM Bureau Land Management uh, area near this place as you come into uh, Oliver Lee State Park. As you come in on Dog Canyon Road, uh, before you get to the state park on the right is a BLM Bureau of Land Management campground, which is free for up to two weeks. And there's several there. I'd say there's as many campers there right now as there are here in the state park. But isn't that a pretty view? Straight at that canyon, straight at, it's called Dog Canyon. And there's a little stream there, crystal clear water. And uh, yeah, that's why this was a popular place many years ago, because there was water year round here. You know, and there's a guy over here that built a little irrigation thing. He got, he got murdered. <clears throat> Well, there was a rancher here that wanted his place. I think his name was Oliver Lee. <laughs> and so the guy accidentally died of lead poisoning. Yeah, I hear you. Well, back then, see, there was no law here. You know, I mean, he just did what you thought you, what you, what you were man enough or macho enough to do, mean enough. You can go walking down in that dog canyon right along side that stream i've done it many times very peaceful got a they've got a little bench right down there by the stream as you it takes about 15 minutes to walk down there not very long we'll go by the headquarters up here and then we'll go down by the blm but isn't this a pretty drive out here Yeah, that's the office on the right. And you follow that little trail around the office. 
and it goes right down into Dog Canyon. And then there's also a trail that goes up the mountain if you want to do that. I've done part of it, but never reached the top. Beautiful views, a beautiful sunset. You know, we're facing just about west here. And uh, yeah, the sunsets here are nice. The sunrise comes up over the mountain behind us, pretty nice. I can't remember the guy's name that lived in that little building off to the right there that that's died of lead poisoning. But he had, he had uh, dammed up the river a little bit made himself a, a little irrigation system. Some of y'all may remember I had a plan one time I was going to get me a one of those Ford Transit, the, the small ones, the city thing they call it. Well there's one off here to the right. See that little white speck there on the right, lower right corner? Well that is a Ford Transit little van, minivan <clears throat> and I was going to get one of those and a, a runaway travel trailer to pull behind it that weighed about eight or 900 pounds and I thought how genius that was going to be jeez I mean they're coming to take me away hey hey But I have enjoyed camping and RVing and all that stuff. And you know, it's still in my mind, you know, that if, if, if I don't sell the Class B soon, that, you know, hell, just keep it. But it doesn't really work where I am right now, and I, and I, I don't really want to do it anymore for some reason. Well, I know the reason, I just don't want to admit it. You know, I got a little long of a tooth and I'm settling down. That little tiny home I've got now is very very comfortable for me you know now in a minute you're going to be able to see some rvs here off to the left i'm not sure i may have to take the camera out of the holder to do it justice wait a minute i got me a diet dr pepper and dark chocolate almonds and all my ammo all my stuff. But yeah, just right down this road, just a little bit, is the uh, Bureau of Land Management. You'll start, let me take this thing out of the holder right quick. I'll see you again. All right, so I'll show you. They're off over here. That's the Bureau of Land Management place. Let me get over here. That ought to make you dizzy. You'll be seeing RVs out there in just a minute or a few seconds. But it's free for up to two weeks. And it used to be, that, first of all, there weren't that many people aware that it was even here. I was one of them. And, uh, you know, I got to see in place people parked out there and I thought, what the hell is that? Well, come to find out, people will stay two weeks there and then go up and stay in the state park two weeks uh, and back and forth for the whole summer or whatever. <clears throat> There's one guy that was doing it by, he lived here. He may still be around here. He had an old Volkswagen van and uh, yeah, he, he would come here for two weeks and then back to the RV or back to the state park uh, in one of the free spots if you have the annual pass. And But out right out here, that's the BLM stuff. For you freebie types. Also, it's over here. See, there's a road. That road right here to the left goes to Bureau of Land Management land. It's rough as a cob, but, you know, most of them are. There's a few RVs out there you're not seeing here. <clears throat> there's some more up here. They're everywhere, they're everywhere. There's some down in that ditch there you might be able to see. But there's probably, I'm gonna guess in that area, 30 RVs. 
of all types. So guys, from uh, near Oliver Lee State Park, the BLM things, uh, let's uh, end this video and uh, on and on we go. There's one more up here and uh, I'll just hold the camera. Looks like it's doing all right. But that old creosote brush out there uh, doesn't stop much wind. <clears throat> nope. And you know, it's high desert. You know, you get wind. So that's just the way it is, you know. There's no boy in a, well, that looks a little, little SUV. But see, there's another entrance road there. He's got him a little SUV. I think they're changing clothes, and I just got a good picture of him. Uh, well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, rangers from New Mexico, Alamogordo area, with mountains all around, uh, this is me saying thumbs up. Car, pay diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life the best way you can. Because it's passing and it's yours. Adios, amigos, bye bye. Stand guard at the door of your mind.